Hey everyone, today I'll show you the shop and the progress and why I've been gone from YouTube for a little while. As you can see, I've been a little busy. <laughs> Let's take a walk through here. Down, 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 down. Turn it up. So there's the garage, guys. I put a front on it, stuck a door, a little door, and a sliding garage door, which you guys saw the video on that. So, looks really big in person. <laughs> I took up almost my entire backyard with this thing. And I know people are going to comment that I didn't cut that straight, but I have a lot of trim that looks really good that's going to cover the whole thing around the doors. I'm just not doing it till winter time because it's really hot and I don't like the heat. So I'm gonna wait till it's cold out. Free air conditioning brought to you by nature. <laughs> so let's go in the garage. Get out of the noise of all these uh, cicadas that you can hear. So left the door open, let's walk in. Show you guys the progress. It is a mess in here. I'm warning you now, I have not organized everything. There is some stuff that's a mess. Let me shut the garage door. Oh, that is so cool to just shut that. Backyard's a mess. So, whew, get past the fan. So this is the tool room. And I literally, I had a shed outside where you just saw that skid steer. I'm not showing you again because it's still a complete wreck. I'm still cleaning everything. It's It's been like a disaster out here. <laughs> so I took everything out of the shed, just took all the tools and some other stuff and just, I literally just kind of threw it on that workbench. So here's what that room looks like now. And I told you guys I had something. This is an eight foot tall power box that I took from work because it was something wired up for you know, what I used for work and we didn't need it anymore. So I stripped everything out of it. And they're gonna throw this thing away. That thing is like 400 pounds. And that door right there, it swings open. And then this little one swings open. And it's, I just saw toolbox instantly. I was like, oh, mine. <laughs> so took it from work, took it home, put it in here. I'm gonna make a video. I'm gonna convert this into a really cool toolbox. That way, that doesn't look like that. I have a toolbox, but it's full of stuff already. So, yes. And then here is the rest of the mess. That's what happens when you store stuff in a shed forever, and then you get a big room and just, it's like, just goes poof. <laughs> Here's some of my bikes, which they're kind of cleaned up now. That is my 97 Suzuki TL1000S. It needs a little work. It's been kind of neglected because I've been trying to close this garage up so I can work on it. And then the awesomeness. My wife's pink and white little imitation Vespa. This thing is so much fun to ride. I think I ride it more than she does. But last time I rode it, these aren't designed for big guys. I popped a back tire. <laughs> I gotta get a new tire for it. So it's been parked. And then I made some storage over here. My brother gave me a fridge. That was pretty cool. That's some garbage I gotta throw out from a fan I bought. More crap that's just piled up. <laughs> and then here's some storage. So it's just, well, that's a bunch of garbage I gotta clean up. I just threw it on that shelf, but I tried to organize stuff, you know, exhaust pipes, different size brake calibers I need for stuff, just different parts. Toolboxes, and then the awesome, awesome find. I'm gonna fix this sign and hang it up in here. Free valet. <laughs> somebody, somebody was getting rid of that and I, gave the, I took it from them. I figured that would be really funny to put some new LED lights in that and have that hanging up in the shop. And then we go around. There's two parts engines. I think that one's actually good. There's something wrong with it, but I can fix it. That is 
two Suzuki TL1000S motors. Which I gotta, I'm gonna get a big shelf to actually put those on so they're not just sitting on the ground. And there is the body for the TL. There is the IS300 you guys have seen. Get ready to make another video to finish the suspension. And that's, for right now, it's a table. <laughs> that is all the parts for this. This is my 1986 Toyota Corolla. I have had this car for a very, very long time. It has been off the road for a very long time because I have converted it to have this in it. This is a four liter Lexus V8. And I've done a lot of stuff. It's got a Toyota five speed on it from a Toyota Supra adapter plate. Done some other little fun stuff to it. And then just a bunch of crap I gotta go through. Yeah. And then and another LS400 that I've had for a little while. I've done a video on that. I gotta do another video. Finish that car up so I can drive it. And then I've just been making like little hangers for, you know, ladders and stuff like that. And just recently, I gotta finish that ground wire, but it's got a huge ground wire already, so ignore that for now. I just got power done. So what I'm doing now is I got one fan, I got one plug wired up to it. So I'm running power all the way around, you can see, all the way around the garage, even there, just basically all the way around the place. So there is plugs at every corner. That way I'm never more than a few feet from a plug. Because you know that it sucks when you don't have a plug. See, there's another plug. Yeah, but here's my little tool room. Let me uh, step up in here. That's my mess. I've got uh, so many tools. I just moved in here. And I had some people help me that were not car people, not tool people. So I just told them, just grab whatever. It looks like a tool, throw it on that table. That's the result of that. They just literally threw all my stuff onto a damn table. Yeah, whatever. So this is, I guess, an above view because my tool room is like a step or two up. So what do you guys think? Put in the comments what you guys think so far. Like I said before, the trim, there's a gap right there. I'm finishing that out later in the winter when it's cooler. But it's closed up enough to where the floor is pretty much level enough to work. It's gravel, it's not concrete, but we'll come up with some stuff. What do you guys think? So far, I love it. I actually have a place, I mean, look how much room. So much room for activities. Ah. Step down, I mean, there's a few feet in front of that car in the door. And then, I mean, there's a few feet behind the car. And then behind this one, there's still a few more feet. How awesome is that? Not to mention, look how wide I can open. Let me open that door on that car. Let me turn around right here. Look at that. So there's plenty of room to fully open a door and still have room to walk around it. So that's, that's what I've always wanted. This just took a long time to build by myself. And I had that thing to help. <laughs> and I did build this in my backyard, which is lower than my house. So I've been building a driveway, which I had a really nice gravel driveway built that I had to basically destroy to run power cabling, to run power into the garage. That was a really, really hard day. <laughs> but I am so happy with this. Yeah. So guys, let me know what you think. Do you think 
I mean, everyone knows it's a wreck right now, but I'm sure everyone's garage is a wreck. That's why I'm showing you the good, the bad, the, the messy, all of it. Who cares? That's why we're here. Everyone can talk, make fun of each other, say how awesome you're doing. If you show me pictures of, if you can put in pictures of your garage at your house or what you're building, show me. Put in the comments what you're building or what kind of garage you want. Because I can actually, I mean, it didn't cost me that much. You can build something just like this. It just takes a while. Especially, I mean, I didn't pay for it all up front. I just bought a piece here, a piece there, every paycheck. So if you have the dedication to do it, you can get it done. So if you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for stopping by.